Hello and welcome to our dental channel. Today we are going to talk about the instruments that are used in the basic restorative procedures. First of all, we are going to talk about the dental diagnostic kit, which contains the mirror, which, which we can use to retract the cheek and the tongue or reflect the light on the area or the tooth we are working on or we can use it to retract and reflect. Secondly, we have the explorer, which we can use to diagnose the dental caries using the catch concept. We can also use the explorer to check the smoothness of the cavity floor which we are working on, or to detect if there is any restorative material residue. Now, we have the tweezers, which is used to pick or place things into, into the oral cavity. We also have the periodontal probe, which is used to detect the health of the periodontal ligament. Depending on the markings that are on the working end, we can determine if the gingiva or periodontal ligament has an inflammation and decide the type of treatment needed and, and to what degree the inflammation has proceeded. Now we're going to specifically be talking about amalgam restorations. First of all, we have the amalgam capsule, which contains the dental amalgam alloy, which is the powder, and the mercury. These capsules are mixed using a device called an amalgamator, which, which is way better than using a pistol and a mortar to avoid mercury toxicity and to get a more uniform mix. It should be noted that the amalgam itself has many types, which will be considered in the material class. Now we have the amalgam carrier, which is used to pick up and place the amalgam into the cavity. Its working end is hollow, and the way the amalgam material is placed into the cavity is that the plunger pushes the amalgam material into the cavity. Usually, the working end is teflon coated to prevent the sticking of the amalgam material on the working end. You should be careful not to leave any amalgam restoration residue in the working end because it will set and it will be really hard to remove. Here you can see we have two types, the plastic one and the metal one. Now we have the glass taping dish which is used to hold the amalgam material until we place it into the cavity preparation. Now we have the matrix retainer and the matrix material. First, we have the retainer, assembled to fit a particular quadrant of the mouth. Now we have the matrix material, or band, which is used as a temporary wall, where a proximal surface has been removed or is missing. It has different types, which are the T-band, which is most commonly used in pedodontics and it's a single use. Secondly, we have the celluloid, which is most commonly used for anterior restorations with composite. It's a clear, transparent matrix band, and it's also a single use. Finally, we have the universal band, which is used in conjunction with amalgam restorations, and matrix retainer. It is also a single use and different sizes and shapes are available. Now we have the condensers. What you see is the universal Hobson's condenser. It is used to pack the amalgam and condense it into the cavity. Its working end is flat and, and the size and the shape of the cavity will dictate the condenser used. You have the small, the medium and the large. Now for the burnishers. You have the the egg ball burnisher or football burnisher, the tea ball burnisher, the acorn burnisher, the ball burnisher. And the use of these will depend on the preference of the operator and the area of the cavity which the operator is working on. These are used to polish and smooth the amalgam once it's condensed into the cavity and it's used to reduce the chance of leakage around the restoration. Now for the amalgam carvers. They are used to carve the shape of the amalgam restoration for the correct anatomy and inclusion. The operator's preference and the shape of the restoration will dictate which carver is required. 
and the area of the restoration which the operator is working on. We also have the spoon excavator which is used to remove dentinal caries. It is a hand instrument that is used with the hand pieces to remove the caries. It should be noted that the instrument should not be restricted to only one use. You can use the same instrument for different things and different areas in the restoration. It all depends on your preference and what you see is better. In the end, you should get the same results with the same biological and mechanical features of the restoration. Hope this helped and thank you for watching. Please feel free to ask us in the comment section below.